To get started with OpenPy Excel, create a virtual environment in a new folder. I'm going to use VNV, but you can use any environment manager. Once you have it, go ahead and activate it. And then pip install OpenPy Excel. I'm also going to grab vPython to clean up some terminal sessions later. While that's installing, go ahead and make a new file, which I'm going to call mine hello openpyxl.py. And inside this new file, I'm going to say from openpyxl import workbook. And then define workbook as a new workbook. And then sheet will equal workbook.active. With sheet, say that a1 is equal to hello, and then b1 is going to be equal to world. And if this doesn't make sense, don't worry, we're going to talk about it in a little bit. Finally, say workbook save, and pass in the file name like hello world.xlsx. Save this, and then go ahead and run it. Okay, if everything went well, you should have a new file called hello world.xlsx. And if you go to open that up, you should see hello and world in A1 and B1. All right, you've just made your first spreadsheet using OpenPy Excel. If we go back here, we can see that the spreadsheet or workbook is a class inside OpenPy Excel. And then within each workbook is a number of sheets. Here, by taking the active sheet in the workbook, you've just selected whichever sheet is open when you open the workbook normally. Each sheet is then broken up into a number of cells, which here are A1 and B1, and then these cells are organized into rows and columns, which are represented by letters for columns and numbers for the rows. Before we finish up in this video, go ahead and download the Sample Excel Worksheet from the Resources tab. It contains a number of reviews of watches from Amazon and you'll use that to practice the different features of OpenPy Excel. Thanks for watching.